Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of a little piezo sensor and amplifier kit. Has a 27 millimeter diameter piezo element and a very nice breadboard friendly PC board ready for use in your next project. Maybe your Arduino system you could connect it to. It's a working voltage of 3.3 to 5 volts, working current less than a milliamp. Board size is 30 millimeter by 23 millimeter. Temperature operating range is minus 10 degrees C to plus 70 degrees C. And it's an analog signal output. And it should have a pretty simple connection. I've never tried this before, but it has the connections there for the Peugeot. You got the black on the ground and the red plus. And then it has ground plus and the signal out. So I don't know yet if there's a circuit on here or if it's just resistors. We're going to test this out in my lab. I'm going to, I'm using this to detect pressure in an orthotic, a foot orthotic. And I've got my own little circuit that I've been using with other PGO elements. Turns out you could take apart a PGO alarm and you can get sensors just like this. That's what I was using till I found the sensor online but I'll have a schematic I'm going to show you right now I'm using an LM324 and I'm going to be using this or anything very similar to it and it's going to allow you to amplify the small signal in this from a gain of about 1 to 50 really simple circuit so we're going to compare that to what's in this circuit and maybe we'll use a combination of both of them so here I have my circuit breadboarded that I showed you with the LM324. Here's the adjustment of the sensitivity. Here's the LM324. Here's a little 5 volt uh, transducer that has a little built-in oscillator in it. And then here is the Piezo, Piezo that I had uh, taken out of a ultrasonic sounder. So if I tap this, you can hear it come down quickly. If I flex it, that's what I'm trying to measure. Having whenever there's a force applied there, you get a sound to it. So that's what I was uh, ordering these kits for. And I'm going to uh, wire this up and see what this does now. So the first thing I did is I took the included piezo and I put the plus to the plus to the minus to the minus and I tightened the screws down. So now it's electrically connected to the circuit board. So here I have it hooked up, I have the connectors, and so I've got minus, plus, and then this is the this is the signal right here, which is the yellow wire. And I have it going to an oscilloscope. So it looks like looking at close inspection of this, there is a little amplifier in there and a little resistor array. So it is amplifying the incoming signal. And it seems to work down to only like one and a half volts, which is pretty amazing. So when you touch this, you do get a signal change. I'll show you right here. So this is one volt per division. I'm at about 4.7 volts. So if I touch it, you can see it pulsing up to almost five volts. So they're amplifying that small signal. So you can measure pressure changes right there. I'm putting a pressure change or a vibration. If it was, you're trying to detect vibration or sound. So a very simple circuit and uh, very effective and very inexpensive for amplifying a Peugeot element with a little control circuit with a connector and a little universal connector on the back of it. So what do I think about this little circuit board, this little kit that, that allows you to get signals from a Peugeot and uh, you could use it for your Arduino or your own custom application. This is a nice uh, little device, very simple to use has a little mounted hole in there, as I just noticed. As I demonstrated, it works quite nicely, very simple, very inexpensive. So I'm going to give it a full five-star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I present here helps you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.